Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite salmon recipes. My sister recently called and asked for this recipe and uh, it just got me thinking, you know, I might as well share it with you guys. My husband is actually not a huge salmon lover, so, and a lot of people aren't. This recipe will turn any one who's not big on fish into a salmon lover. So, uh, of course, I will have the full recipe in the description box below. So, yeah, years ago, I ate at a restaurant and loved the sauce on the salmon and went home and this is my version of it. I've probably been making this for maybe 25 years now. So yeah, this is my version of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prepare a poaching liquid. And like I said, the recipe will be in the description box below. And I actually do two separate pots. One is for poaching my salmon and the other one is going to be for my veggies to go with the salmon, which are similar, but I want fresh veggies for eating. So most people that I know don't actually poach their salmon. They usually bake it or grill it. So yeah, I just have found that poaching it in this particular liquid is it just adds so much flavor to the salmon and like i said for even people who don't like salmon will like this recipe so the sauce um, is optional of course i try to put it on the side and that way you can dip your salmon in it if you choose but like I said, the, the flavor in this poaching liquid adds so much to the salmon. And we do add a little bit to the sauce as well. So all of those flavors are really combined and go together really well. But yeah, I, I really think you guys will definitely like this recipe if you try it. And this is one of those recipes that definitely impress people. Its flavor is unique and it's not just a baked piece of fish like the average person would fix. So this is definitely showing your guests that you're taking the extra time to make it special and unique. So in a pinch, you can bake your fish and just make this sauce. And there's been times where I didn't add the extra stuff to the sauce, I just did the cranberry and the barbecue mix and maybe added a little garlic or something. But um, yeah, this is definitely one of those things if you take time to poach it in this liquid, that's what's gonna take it over the top. So I'm also doing a creamy garlic mashed potato and I like them extra creamy to go with this. The garlic just really goes so nicely with this fish. So yeah, it's just the perfect combination and um, very elegant, a very elegant dinner. So the only thing that I would say make sure of is make sure that your fish is completely submerged underneath that poaching liquid and uh, don't go past 10 minutes with it for the average size salmon steak. So yeah, I'm just gonna plate it up. I like to put the potatoes down first and the fish right on top and then the veggies on top of that and just put a little bit of that sauce around the edges and that way you can add it if you want in a bite. So anyway, I hope you guys like this recipe. Hope you have an amazing Mother's Day tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. And yeah, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.